Hey all, welcome again to Cloud and Sec. This time around, I'm trying to make some content a little bit different, trying to talk to the community, showcasing what they've done to Sentinel and to Microsoft's platform that can help, of course, the wider community as well. This time around, I'm hosting a partner from New Zealand, someone who's created content and has made it available publicly for everyone to use it uh, in the current uh, version. So I'll be sharing and having a conversation with one of the developers there and one of the cybersecurity uh, analysts and senior engineers who helped create that solution. Hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, of course, leave your comment, leave a like, subscribe if you find this content useful and let me know your thoughts about it as well. Okay, let's dive in. Thanks, thanks for, for joining me, uh, D-Back. Uh, thanks for uh, accepting to showcase what you you guys have done as a Microsoft partner, but also as cybersecurity, uh, of course, engineer in industry. I'm really excited to uh, to host you, to showcase what, what you guys are doing to the community and to some of your customers. All right, so um, it's the first time I'm doing anything like this, but the, the whole goal of uh, having you here is, of course, to showcase what you've done with a plat with Sentinel and with the platform itself. Uh, and of course, the, the point is for you to talk about what you do, what um, this whole solution is for, and perhaps a little bit about uh, how you, how this can help some of your customers. Cool. Thanks for that. Um, like you said, this is my first time as well yes. doing a video session on this as well. But yeah, thanks for having me here. Um, my name is Debak. Um, I've been with Defend Limited New Zealand for the last three, three and a half years, I would say. I started with security operations team and I slowly moved into some engineering works to build some automation integrations, building solutions to make sure that Sentinel is more easier to be accessible for every other customer as well. So we've been building some couple of solutions uh, with the support from Microsoft, obviously. Uh, we've been playing around with codeless connectors, logic apps, function apps, all these new integrations, data collection endpoints, and collection rules as well. So we just wanted to give it back to the community as well. Not sure that we just want to keep it to ourselves, but make sure that Sentinel is getting beneficial out of that as well. So recent solution that we've published is for Atlassian Beacon. So everyone might have uh, come across the platform Atlassian by itself. Uh, you might already be using Jira software or Jira service management or Confluence for your documenting, etc. But they didn't have any security platform by itself for monitoring an alert or any malicious activities or suspicious activities that's happening in your environment. The traditional way is to collect all the raw logs from the platform and then send it to Sentinel. And then we do the heavy lifting there by creating some de detection rules through that. Uh, but with the recent announcement from Atlassian, they recently released a product called Atlassian Beacon, which is like a M365 Defender platform for Atlassian. So it's going to be doing the heavy lifting for you to create alerts, detection, saying that what's malicious, what's suspicious. Um, if you look at the user activity, there are a bunch of different categories for users activity. So if someone is adding or removing your domains, API key creation, um, if someone is doing some bunch of exports, so I'm kind of an uh, insider risk, or if someone is doing some issue crawling, admin changes, all these kind of user related activities will be captured in this and re the relevant products are already um, uh, tagged here as well. So this is really good for a detection perspective. When they started, they have very few, but they're growing on it and we are seeing it in real time that they're adding more and more detections every week or at least every month, I would say. Uh, similarly, there's a new update as well for content scanning. If someone has any credit card details or any sensitive information in your Confluence pages, that would be triggered as an alarm as well. Saying that, cool, that's a sensitive thing. It probably shouldn't be in a Confluence for these kind of stuff. So they're getting better and better and it's really good as well. So we wanted to build some kind of an integration to make sure that we can utilize this capability with Sentinel as a scene platform as well. So the native integration would be that um, they have something called a scene forwarding where you can add a webhook and send it to that specific webhook, which can be handled. Luckily, we have in Sentinel, we have a capability on the automation called Logic Apps, where you can um, create your own um, create your own automation or a workflow where you can just show that, cool, there's a webhook payload, I'm gonna receive it, I'm gonna process the payload and I can send the logs to Sentinel. But you will have to build your whole logic app as well. Plus, if the data collection and ingestion is via a logic app, you also need to have a data connector to show the log visualization as well. So to do that, you need to build your own data connector as well. 
Mm. Cool. And the third part is that you get your logs now. You have a visualization of your logs. You need to utilize them using an analytic rule as well. So you need to create another analytic rule as well. So instead of three different resources that you manually build, configure based on the best practice or like to design how it's going to look like, what we decided is we build the whole thing. We package it as a content hub solution and we just publish it on Microsoft Sentinel. So the easiest way to go is any Sentinel, whatever in your organization, you go to content hub. And you can search for Atlassian Beacon. And you can see that Microsoft Sentinel Atlassian Beacon. It's from different, it's provided by support from Microsoft as well at the moment. It's free. Any solution from Content Hub is at the moment free because we want to give it to the community to make sure that we can start utilizing that as well. It's one step install. Just click install. It's going to take a couple of minutes to install the Logic App, Data Connector, and the Analytic Rule, three resources in there. Once they are installed, can, I can show you the configuration of how it's going to work, what it's, what do we need to do, etc. Yeah. yeah, great. And for any customer with Atlassian can actually use Beacon or is that something that requires uh, something else? Uh, it's straight out of the box. Any any Atlassian customer, they can use Beacon at the moment. It is in beta at the moment, as you can see. So it is free at the moment. Sure when they make it as a proper preview at the moment but when they make it a thing they might add some licenses or a cost on top of it which we haven't heard back anything from them so cool. i see that the solution has been installed the first thing i would do once your solution is installed is go to data connectors you can see atlassian beacon alerts data connector in here and it's got a small description what, you, what the data connector is going to be doing and a visualization graph saying that cool is there any log ingestion in the recent time if you open the connector page we've given you the whole instructions inside the data connectors page by itself so you don't even have to go through a different guide or something like that so the first thing you need to do is on go to on your microsoft Sentinel instance you navigate to the newly installed logic app atlassian begin integration logic app designer get the the specific module and you can copy the url so that's basically what we're going to be doing so if i go to playback templates um if i search for atlassian begin up here there's a solution already up here. I just click, click, click create playbook. It would require you to give you uh, give your workspace ID and key because based on the uh, workspace ID and key is how your uh, log analytics data collector is going to be authenticating. So that that makes it easier to uh, go through that as well. So next parameters, you have your workspace ID and workspace key. Uh, let me just get that. Cool. So you give in the workspace ID, workspace key, and that's for authenticating for the Azure Logic Apps, sorry, Log Analytics Data Collector, the one that would actually ingest the logs into Sentinel. So go for next, create and continue. You haven't yet um, discussed how it's going to be integrated into uh, the logs part, but I'm oh, really yes. surprised. Yeah. Yeah excited about that too. yeah ah oh, yeah so that's the that's the main part so the logic app by itself will have a module to send it to the logs part of it i can do a small breakdown of this as well yeah. so the first component is to whenever a http, HTTP request is received so we will be receiving the webhook payload on this specific module and based on that module we will the payload will be parsed into a specific json type so you just need to give a schema to recognize that okay what kind of a payload am i going to be getting in there and based on that schema, I will get, I'll be receiving the payload and I'm constructing a JSON structure saying that, cool, this is the details URL, this is the ID, this is the title, and this is the time that it was detected. And that output will be sent as the JSON request body for the log analytics workspace to ingest into the table. Uh, we call it as Atlassian underscore beacon underscore alerts, and we try and aim to keep it at that specific same format. So it makes it easier for us to recognize as well. That would be the table name we do there. So as you just see here, cool. We have now installed the Atlassian Beacon integration. You've went, we went into Logic App Designer. The first one is when a HTTP request is received, which is what we've opened it up here. And you have this HTTP post URL. You just copy that and back to the instructions page. Cool. We've copied the HTTP post URL. You go to the Atlassian Beacon, which is on the left side. We already have it up here. You need to log in using an admin account because you need to be doing the scene forwarding configuration. So you need an, a specific admin access on the beacon and begin to do this configuration. You go to scene forwarding under settings, and then up here, you just paste the URL, the webhook URL that we got from the logic app, and you click save. Sweet, that's saved, done. And then you want to do a testing uh, validation. 
um, you can either do a manual uh, create uh, alert creation saying for example an admin can log in as another user or if you want to do some bunch of confluence page exports etc or if you just want to do a simple test click test and you should be able to see that back in the logic app you will have a successful run that says that you can see that there's a successful run up here that has received the payload that has received the webhook payload parsed it composed it and has sent data back to sentinel as well so that's basically it um the, now, the whole log collection ingestion yeah and now we need to consume it right within the logs correct the the next part is about the consuming part so if you go to analytics on the same rule template you can search for atlassian beacon yeah you already have atlassian beacon alert coming up confirm here you can install this analytic rule as well it's very minimal at this moment uh a bit of a heads up is that Atlassian Beacon at the moment doesn't have any severities for the alert. So they don't have high, medium, low. Any alert is just going to be a specific alert. So what we would advise, and we are working on this for an update to the solution as well, is that we will be trying to categorize. If you see these five different categories of alerts, it's probably going to be categorized as a high alert for every single organization. If the, if you see something as similar to an admin activity, it could be a medium or a low, uh, active, a low alert, something like that. So we will... We are trying to suggest something as well, and people can change based on their requirements and how they want to swap around as well. So since you don't have to write your query or the description, severity, all this kind of stuff, you just click create rule. It's going to give you all the details by default. So the name of the alert, the description, severity, um, the rules and logic is it's pretty straightforward at the moment. It runs every five minutes because it's a scheduled rule at this point. You go for incident settings, automated response. If you want to add some any automation that you want to uh, attach to the specific analytic rule, you can do that. Uh, the reason why it hasn't, it's the validation is failing is because it still hasn't created the table at the back end. It takes a couple minutes for the first log ingestion to appear in there. But once you start seeing the actual logs in place. Um, Within the table, yeah, the custom table. Yeah, the custom table. Yeah, it takes a couple of minutes, but once you see a couple of logs in here of the test alerts, you should be able to uh, bypass this error message. You won't have that error message and you just click save and you'll have a new analytic role that can create alerts out of, your, out of the logs that you're ingesting from Atlassian Beacon. Mainly, yeah. And then Tweet. whenever uh, there are alerts from Beacon, um, that analytics rule is going to be triggered naturally and that'll create an incident or an alert within the incident. Correct, correct. Depends on how well you want to configure. And even after that, you can build your own automations depending on organization's requirements saying that um, if it's an incident for admin activity, I want you to trigger this logic app to send an email to this user to confirm whether if it's true or false, all those kind of automations. Central's got the capabilities, which we aim to build more and more enrichment for the Atlassian Beacon Alert automation as well in future, but it's something on the roadmap at the moment. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Debak, for it. Uh, I'm sure if anyone's excited to play around with it, they can find it in the portal, right? So it's uh, it, yeah. So it's great for the entire community to be able to enjoy and use of yeah, this kind of integration within Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for, for the demonstration of your time, Debak. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. With that, I'd like to once again thank Debak and, of course, his employer who allowed him time to have a quick conversation about what they came up with for the community. Hopefully found this useful and see you next time.